Hey, it's Jason. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to fix the redirect loop error inside of WordPress. Now, this error usually manifests itself whenever you're updating from a previous version of WordPress to a new version. And it also happens if you have a redirect plugin installed and sometimes it tries to redirect too much and it causes this error. So, this the point of this article and video is to show you how to fix this problem as quickly as possible to get you back online and blogging. So as always, you can reference the article at any time at enlightenedwebmastery.com. As we mentioned earlier, what a redirect loop was, I'm going to take a little more time and explain it. Um, say you had a website at joesgreencar.com, and then all of a sudden you got a new red car and you didn't want to have your green car, so you changed it to joesredcar.com. So what you do is you'd put out a simple redirection and it would go from uh, red car to green car, green car to red car, whatever your previous domain was, to the new domain. So if you had links or backlinks on anybody else's website or if they link to you or you link back to yourself, anytime someone clicks the old link, they'll be sent back to the new link. Now in WordPress, sometimes if you're using a redirect plugin, it can get a little nasty and get a little tricky. And if you're clicking on the previous or the next entries, you're going to get the redirect, the redirect problem. And it's just going to go on and on and on again in a nested kind of loop. Here's an example of what that looks like whenever you're checking out your website and you click a button and all of a sudden it hangs up freezes for a little while and then Firefox whatever your browser is is going to show up a little message like this here it says redirect loop Firefox has detected that the server is redirecting the request for this address in a way that will never complete so the start the web browser terminates the loop but if it didn't your loop would keep going on and on and on again increasing the process and nobody's ever going to find out what's going on, on your website so obviously we need to fix this. Luckily, this problem can be fixed in less than 30 seconds. So what you're going to have to do is visit Mark's website and download his Disable URL Redirection Program. Now to download this, you're going to have to type in the name on Google and you'll get the URL. Or you can visit the website and click the link. Now whenever you download the file, you're going to just unzip it and upload it to your folder like you always do when you install a plugin and then activate it. So after you've activated it, that's it. You don't have to go into the settings or anything like that. It's good and it's gold. So now you can go back to your website and click the button and it all should be well. Now, if your problem was that you couldn't even access the admin panel or maybe not even your website at all, there's a lot of different things you're going to have to do. So this, if you can't log into your admin panel, you can't activate the plugin. So this is not going to work for you. So what you're going to have to do in that case is go into your FTP program log into your web server, go into your plugins files, and start deleting your files. Start deleting the redirection files. So the best thing to do would be to back everything up and then start deleting each uh, plugin one at a time until you're able to access your admin panel. Now some problems could be like sat ma uh, sitemap generator, uh, redirect plugins, and things of that nature. Things that mess with your uh, HTA, HTA access file. Now another problem will probably be your HTA access file and if that's the case you may need to delete it, rename it, or edit it. So these are different things you need to keep in mind. If you delete the plugins or rework on your .ht access file or edit the HTA access file, um, another thing you might want to do is update to the latest version of WordPress or if you're already at the latest version of WordPress and that's when the problem happened, to go back to a lower older version of WordPress. That way maybe you'll be able to get back into your admin panel and solve the problem that way. So I hope you found this article useful, this video useful, and you're able to get back to blogging. So if you enjoyed it, great, and I hope it helped you. Hopefully you'll never encounter this problem, but it's happened to a lot of people and it usually happens every time a new version of WordPress comes out. This uh, plugin has fixed it for millions of people and it's the best plugin of its nature. I mean you don't have to do nothing, just install it activate it in your goal. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon.